Hey everybody, what's up? Comrade of everybody here. Uh, with something new, and I'll explain why. School is coming up here, and I had to do a regular uh, cleanup on my hard drives. And because I do a lot of schoolwork on this computer, because um, it has a direct link to the computers that we use at the school, so I do a lot of my homework on here. And so yeah, I need to every once in a while clean up the computer. Um, what I didn't know at the time was that I don't usually clean out the hard drive where I keep videos. Uh, that hard drive usually uh, I'll delete stuff manually and I will uh, defrag it manually. During this cleanup, however, uh, I hadn't noticed that I forgot to uncheck clean data D drive, which is where I keep all the videos. So I have the standard drive, the C drive, and the D drive. And the D drive is where I keep my videos because it keeps it away from the main hard drive, and my main hard drive is where I keep like all my games and stuff that I show you find people. So yeah. And I don't know why, but it decided that my Medieval 2 videos were garbage. I don't know, maybe they just sucked and deleted them all. And so yeah, everything I, I had is gone. I don't know why. Um, oh, I didn't know I could do that. Apparently I can spin the world around. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> I got distracted by that. I didn't know I could do that. Um, where was I? Oh yeah. So yeah, and it just deleted it. And during our disk cleanup, it cleans out the recycling bin too. So everything was gone of my medieval two vids, and I am really, really mad about it. And that was about a week ago. So yeah, it's gone. I have, yeah, I am, I have no excuse or whatever. I have no idea how that even worked. But it did apparently, and now it's gone. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, that's why I unfortunately cannot continue Medieval 2 because I had a lot done. As for my reason to not having posting videos, um, I had a major graphical issue with my computer. My video drivers were not updating at all like it would say it did but it wouldn't and I have no idea why but yeah it just would not update and it was really really annoying uh, but I didn't know that for like the past four months I have had no idea and what would happen is like right here there would be a whole bunch of triangles like this is apparently a very uh, common bug with the version of driver that I had to update to and that one that I had and like all over here would be triangles and then it would be worse on other games like on Arma 2 or Mass Effect what would happen is the it would look like somebody had torn up something and like a giant beam would appear that you would imagine you wouldn't be able to walk through but yet you could I have no idea and yeah it was the weirdest thing and it took me four months before I finally realized what was going on. I had done everything I thought of, and I, it was just a coincidence that I ran into uh, what this problem was. But now that it's fixed, I can finally get back to making videos. So I have videos from months ago because I've been focusing on that and school that I need to now get posted. And I have no idea how long I've been rambling on, but I'm gonna ramble some more. This time though, about the game that we're playing. This is Rulers of Nations, Geopolitical Simulator 2. Uh, this is a, I think, a very fun game. I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite games. Um, where you are the president, prime minister, uh, in the case of Jordan or Saudi Arabia, king uh, of a country, of your choice. In the world, uh, the game takes place during 2011. So 2011. Uh, so... You don't have to deal with something like the 
World Recession back of back in 08. What you do need to deal with though is a world like Greece could pull the world into another recession if you don't handle it properly. Or if you're doing your budget deficit wrong and all this and like all world economies are shot and they're just getting back up on your, their feet and that's your job to deal with. And that's something you know that you can deal with. And it's very very deep, I'll get into it more. But first we'll talk about the two different war, uh, options that you get. You can do a world, oh, sorry, world simulation or global competition. Um, I'll show you the first one first. This was also where you get multiplayer. I'm going to start a solo game and a new game. And um, this guy's going to pop up and he's going to be like a head of state, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. So this is the world where you would select your nation. And there are 17, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 nations. I think five, uh, whatever. 16, 17-ish nations, I didn't really count them properly and it says on the top, but I can never remember. Um, and these are the quote-unquote superpowers or large powers in the game. And each nation is has that title for a different reason, like India, that's self-explanatory, China, Russia, United States, those are self-explanatory, Brazil. And then there are countries that you may think don't make sense, like France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Canada, Venezuela, uh, Japan. And yeah, each one is specific, like Japan is a major trader in the world. North Korea has a very large military, and you know, reunification of Korea is cool. Uh, Germany, major industrial power. France, Spain, Italy, yeah. Uh, Canada isn't so much as a military power as it is an economic power. Canada came out very well of the recession. One of the best, it came out almost the best in the war of the Western nations uh, from the recession of 08. Uh, Venezuela, very high oil and stuff. South Africa, it's the, lar it's the most powerful country in this region, really. Iran, ma major, major uh, power in the Middle East, so on and so forth. And you select a nation and you try to beat all these other heads of states in uh, score. And it's really neat and it's a very volatile world. Um, because a bonus that you can get is for increasing your territory. So war happens a lot in this mode. And the UN is actually very, very uh, powerless to stop these constant wars. Like Tunisia, I have seen get torn up completely by, what the hell, why is it all red? That's different. I have seen Tunisia get completely torn apart by Italy, France, Britain, Germany, and s I think Libya. Yes. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's that mode. It's not red anymore. Cool. What are you doing? 